Okay, here we are at Alta Vesta after the second break. Uh, we're getting towards the end of the game, really. It's the casualty pile. Um, a lot more Imperials in there. All the guns have gone. Wallenstein and Cronenberg uh, are both uh, out of commission. Oh, over here on the left flank, we've got Bernard running to try to defend that fort and gets victory points if he can hold it so there's a lot of Imperials over on that side of the battlefield though um, we got Wilhelm setting up a defense of the heights again facing a large amount of Imperial troops questionable whether or not he'll be able to hold it on the other hand we got Gustavus pulling up artillery pieces And if he can get those into place, which some of them will, some of them it's much more, well, it's actually impossible. Uh, he'll be able to put some serious pressure on the Imperial positions. He's also got all his cav here. Those salvo markers you see are uh, just open, open order markers. I ran out. This battle needs them very heavily. There's a bunch of cav over here moving around the wall to also try to influence things a little bit. It's pretty interesting actually what's happening. Um, it's one of the least bloody battles, which I wouldn't expect given that it's a, a siege assault that uh, I've played out. It's just the terrain is so painful that it's almost impossible to uh, to have any kind of prolonged fighting to cause the casualties the way they were in the other scenarios.